Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Our video today about ultrasound diagnosis of ectopic pregnancy. Ultrasound findings will be organized by location and the type of ectopic pregnancy. Number one, tubal pregnancy. Epidemiology. It is the most common type of ectopic pregnancy, about 95%. Location. Most common is in the ampulla, 70%, followed by isthmus, and the less common in the fimbria. Findings. Adenexial findings. An adenexial mass separate from the ovary is the most common finding. Specificity is 100% when the mass contains a yolk sac or live embryo. Tubal ring sign. Hypervascular, hyperechoic ring surrounding an extra uterine gestational sac. Endometrial findings. Either normal endometrium or blood and the fluid in the endometrial cavity and the endocervical canal or pseudo-gestational sac which is a sick decidual reaction surrounding intrauterine fluid often located centrally within the endometrial canal as compared to eccentrically for normal gestational sex. Other clues include a low resistance arterial flow on color doppler. We may also find trilaminar endometrium, which is formed during the late proliferative phase of the menstrual cycle and involves an echogenic basal layer, hypoechoic inner functional layer, followed by a thin echogenic layer representing the interface to the endometrial lumen. Also, we may find thin walled decidual cyst, which is thin walled cyst found at the junction between the endometrium and the myometrium. The thin wall is the key to differentiate from a true gestational sac. In tubal pregnancy, we talked about adenexial finding, endometrial finding, then uh, come to extra uterine finding, which is pelvic free fluid or hematosalpinx or hematoperitoneum. Number two, interstitial pregnancy. Epidemiology it is less common from two to three percent of ectopic pregnancies. Risk factors, prior salpingectomy or in vitro fertilization. What is meant by interstitial pregnancy? This pregnancy that is implants into the intramyometrial segment of the fallopian tube. The distensibility of this segment allows for delayed presentation, sometimes up to uh, 16 weeks. Risks If ruptured, the risk of life-threatening hemorrhage is high because of proximity of the uterine artery to the fallopian tube. This ultrasound picture shows gestational sac next to endometrium. In a case of interstitial pregnancy, white arrow shows the empty uterine cavity. Ultrasound findings in interstitial pregnancy 1. Eccentrically located gestational sac surrounded by a thin layer of myometrium less than 5 mm. 2. Make sure to assess the rest of the uterus as eccentrically located intrauterine pregnancy can occur secondary to fibroids, contractions or anatomical anomalies or normal variant which is called angular pregnancy. 3. Interstitial line sign, which is echogenic line extending into the uterine horn, bordering the margin of the gestational sac present in the fallopian tube. This picture shows the difference between interuterine pregnancy, angular pregnancy versus ectopic interstitial pregnancy. The angular pregnancy is intrauterine pregnancy that is implanted eccentrically in one of the lateral angles or corners of the uterine cavity. It has large broad-based connection with endometrium. The outer border may be surrounded by myometrium. 3D ultrasound is helpful to exclude interstitial pregnancy. 
But interstitial pregnancy is ectopic pregnancy that implants in the intramural portion of the fallopian tube, separated from endometrial cavity by thin band of myometrium. It is difficult to de-diagnose this. Improve the sensitivity with 3D sonography. Number 3. Corneal Pregnancy What is corneal pregnancy? It is implantation of a blastocyst within the cornea of a bicornate or septate uterus. Epidemiology Less than 1% of all ectopic pregnancies. Risk Rupture can lead to life-threatening hemorrhage. Findings The gestational sac surrounded by a thin rim less than 5 mm of myometrium. Eccentric positioning less than 1 mm from the lateral wall of the endometrial cavity. Number 4. Ovarian pregnancy. Risk factors The use of intrauterine devices may occur in relation to heterotopic pregnancies. Findings Gestational sac, coronic villi, a typical cyst with a hyperechoic ring within the ovary, but alongside a normal fallopian tube. Number 5. Cervical pregnancy. It is pregnancy within the endocervical canal. Epidemiology. It is rare, accounting for less than 1% of ectopic pregnancies. Ultrasound findings. The uterus may be shaped like an hourglass or figure of eight. Trophoblastic flow surrounding the gestational sac within the cervix. Cardiac activity below the internal os. Normal endometrial strip. Differential. Ensure to watch for the sliding sign, which is the mobility of the gestational sac to assess for a possible abortion in progress. The sliding sign means when pressure is applied to cervix using the probe in a miscarriage, the gestational sac slides against the endocervical canal, but doesn't do so in a pregnancy implanted in the endocervix. Number 6. Skull Pregnancies Epidemiology it is rare accounting for less than 1% of ectopic pregnancies. Pathophysiology during a previous surgery, it is suggested that a fibrous tract connects the uterine endometrium to the myometrium. Ultrasound findings Gestational sac present in the anterior wall of the inferior aspect of the uterus. Myometrial tissue may be thinned anteriorly due to compression. Number 7 Intraabdominal pregnancy. Epidemiology it is very rare cause of ectopic pregnancies. The pregnancy located within the peritoneal cavity, separate from the uterus, tubes, ovaries, and intraligamentous structures. Risks Significant morbidity and mortality due to hemorrhage with over 7 times higher mortality compared to other causes of ectopic pregnancies. Ultrasound findings Absence of a normal intrauterine gestational sac. Gestational sac within the intraperitoneal cavity. Abdominal or pelvic hemorrhage. Number 8. Heterotopic pregnancy. This intra and extra uterine pregnancy occurring at the same time. Risk factors. 1. Assisted reproduction, for example, in vitro fertilization. 2. Use of intrauterine contraceptive device. 3. Breuer tubal surgery. 4. History of pelvic inflammatory disease. 5. History of a previous ectopic pregnancy. Ultrasound findings. Intra and extrauterine gestational sex. Any of the previous findings for the ectopic pregnancy may be seen depending on the location of implantation.